Hello, it's Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. And today I've got two replays to show you in the Tier 8 British Tech Tree Tank Destroyer, the Charioteer. The Charioteer has been one of my favourite Tech Tree tanks in the game for a long time. It's a fantastic tank destroyer. And it can almost play like a medium because it has fantastic mobility. It has fantastic concealment so you can play the sort of more traditional tank destroyer um, sort of play style. But it also has 10 degrees of gun depression and a fantastic gun where you have 390 alpha on your standard rounds uh, APCR round with fantastic shell velocity and then on your premium rounds you have 480 um, alpha uh, hesh um, rounds with 210 penetration and if you're able to get those rounds to work your DPM can go through the roof and this tank really does have fantastic DPM so we're on vineyards, I mean we are bottom tier, there's quite a few tank destroyers, one enemy light tank and an enemy artillery. Uh, we get quite fortunate now on the cross where we just spot the cross as we was advancing to our position and we managed to pick up um, just shy of your, oh, well, about 850 assistants. But quite early doors, I kind of realise there's no not many tanks here because I like tanks spotted, the majority of tanks on the other side. Normally I start myself on this ridge here just so I can try and cover if enemy tanks try and play this side, I can get assistance from our tanks camping in the spawn. But as you say, I kind of worked out quite early doors that the tanks weren't hit here. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. If they're going to give me this side for free, then I'm going to be able to push up quickly and trap the enemy tanks in their base and try and get some, uh, you know, some potential damage. Or maybe some potential assistance here and hopefully our tanks from our spawn kind of follow us up. So enemy super conqueror gets spotted and we get a nice shot there picking up 380 damage. Uh, just got to be careful what we don't want to, you know, just get in a, a, a DPM battle with this super conqueror is full health. But he's not actually paying attention, he's trying to leave so I'm just going to try and get as much shots in as you can. You can see how good the concealment is here, I'm not getting detected and just how well this tank can play the ridge lines with its 10 degrees of gun depression. And I have three farms on this tier 10 heavy tank here. Could actually have used the hex rounds because it looked like it was rear on, so I could have penned the um, rear of the tank and picked up more damage and maybe even set them on fire. Uh, but I've opted not to because I just wanted to make sure I pen those shots and I get a nice blind shot into you know to Super Conqueror, picking up you know 2,000 damage and 1,000 assistance. Great start to this game. But an enemy tank to try to get spotted crossing towards us. We put one shot in. We swapped to the hex rounds because we can actually pen this tank with a 210. Um, Penetration Hesh round to pick up a bit more damage. He looks like he's going to come around for us. Obviously, he doesn't have a turret. We get a nice shot in. Unfortunately, we don't pen with the Hesh rounds, but we do at least track him in place, which slows him down, allowing us to get into a position again. You know, he's a two shot to us now. Um, we put one shot into him. We should be able to finish him off. He doesn't have a turret, so if he keeps pushing like this, we're just going to back up. You can see the traverse speed this tank is pretty good, and it's pretty mobile in general. And we've got a lot of sort of flying start here. But now I'm thinking this is not good. And the bat chat just full sends us. Misses his shot and gets slapped by our a covering tank. And gets put onto a one shot. And I get pretty fortunate because I kind of thought that this was not going to go well for me. When I saw that bat chat fly over uh, that ridge. But I ended up taking no damage whatsoever. He gets put on a one shot. And now I'm safe to try and either finish off this super conqueror. Or then finish off this bat chat if we can. Enemy Fosh gets spotted. We try to finish off the Fosh by taking a blind shot while we had the opportunity. Uh, doesn't land, but you, know, you can't hit what you don't shoot at. But we should have another opportunity to finish off that Bat Chat earlier. And we do take out the Tier 9 Bat Chat. Putting us on to two kills. About 4,000 damage, 1,000 assistance. And this game is looking like we have won this game now. Like I say, no one really contested this side. So we're able to just sort of trap the enemy tanks in their spawn. As we advance, we spot the enemy artillery. We get a nice shot into the artillery. And then on our reload, we're going to keep moving forward. Because I want to try and get to the distance. So I can try and stay where the damage is. There's only four tanks. We managed to pick up a shot in the, the tier 10 Jaguar E100. Picking up a third kill. And it's just a bit about, can we get there? Maybe to light the tanks before our friendly team do. Because we can pick up a bit more assistance. Or just get there to get a bit more damage of our own. Because we're having a decent game. Just try 2,000 damage. 3 kills. 4,300 damage in a bottom tier matchmaking. And this game is going to be over fairly quickly. So enemy Turan. We're trying to snap this shot in on the move. Thankfully it hits. And we managed to pick up a 4th kill. 
and it is just one enemy at tier 10 um, heavy tank left and just, can we get some shots in we are going to be the first there this is why I didn't really slow down because I wanted to get to all the damage I could possibly get to and make the most out of the game we can just eat shots off this guy now we've got full hit points um, can we just land one more shot we do we're just going to go for the ram just to try and really just get any bit of extra damage we can it gets taken out and that brings us an end to the first replay uh, let's just see how we got on we managed to get uh four kills i believe 5000 damage over 2200 base xp with 2000 assistance um picking up the ace tanker and the high caliber but that's it for replay number one let's move on to the second and final replay okay so here we are for the final replay on pilsen where there is two enemy artillery one enemy light tank um, and we are top tier this time so Pilsen's probably not the best map for this tank but to be honest with you this tank can be quite flexible especially when we're top tier um, just because it's quick mobile and you've just got a fantastic gun so you can make it work in most scenarios even if the map's not was the best for it um, so initially just playing this position at the early door see if anything crosses like sometimes the light tanks play aggressively uh, and I'd like to put a shot into him. So one of the light tanks does cross. Unfortunately, we just missed that shot in, which is a shame. We'd like to have put some early damage into that enemy light tank. And now the enemy artillery is trying to shoot us. One just misses and a second just misses. That could have uh, you know, ended ended quite poor, badly for us if we got hit by both those artilleries. So we start to make the cross and then um, to try and get a little bit closer in the middle. But as that happens, we actually spot an enemy heavy tank and we manage to put one shot in, pick up a little bit of assistance. We can see if we can squeeze one into his turret, which we just managed to do, picking up a second penetration, putting us onto sort of just shy of 800 damage. So a decent start to this game. But I do play <laughs> quite aggressively um, and you don't necessarily have to play as aggressive as I'm doing so in the charioteer. Um, but I, you know, I just couldn't really be bothered to sit there camping on Pilsen and I make a very risky cross to try and get to where I want to um, I spot a few enemy tanks, they're too low down to actually have got a shot into me which is quite handy uh, and at least we got to our position like I say this is quite aggressive but I realise I've got tanks covering us I realise also that it's top tier so we, you know, against a few lower tier tanks so it's kind of a little bit of a gamble, but again, like I say, I'm, I just wanted to get into the fight. I couldn't really, didn't really feel like just sitting there waiting because I was getting patient and I want to play and shoot tanks. So we move forward to try and make something happen for ourselves. Uh, the biggest concern for me really is the enemy light tank. That's the thing I'm most worried about. If that tank's full sends me and throws this tank away to kill me. Uh, that's the biggest problem so any opportunity I get to shoot that light tank and put him lower down hit points I'm definitely going to try and take thankfully put one shot into him there and that puts him onto a two shot if I can get one more shot into him then I'll no longer be worried if he tries to full send me because they'll be on a one shot and I can finish him off um, so we're looking with see there is a few one shots there the Hellcat is a one shot to us we've actually got the Hesh rounds him didn't actually need them because he had low enough hit points for us not to worry about it uh, but we pick up our first uh, kill of the game and about 2,000 damage. Looking to try and finish off this one shot there. As it happens, a enemy tank destroyer comes around the corner. Uh, the check TD, we managed to pen it with the Hesh for over 550. And you can see, you, know, you can pick up quite a lot of damage if you're able to pen those Hesh rounds. Looking to get a shot into this heavy tank here. Don't quite, I don't know why I didn't shoot the Capola there. If I would have shot the Capola, I probably would have penned it. Um, so that was just a little bit of a mistake. I was trying to avoid eating too much damage. But he pokes around again and we're able to get a secondary shot with a Hesh pen in there. Uh, picking up some damage. Leaving him on a one shot and putting us on two. Just shy of 3,000 damage and a little bit of assistance there. Enemy tank which I assumed was AFK. Uh, but then I find out he's not actually AFK because he's actually shooting back at us. Um, he's spotted in the back. I'm just going to try and utilise taking this tank out. Um, go for the track wheel shot. I, you know, I should have thought it actually had APCR loaded there. Uh, but I want to just try and keep him tracked in place if I can. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure what he's doing. I damage his engine now. He can't actually move. Um, should have the finishing uh, kill shot here to pick up our second kill of the game and put us onto about 4,000 damage. With the seven tanks remaining, hopefully, can pick up a second kill here on this enemy heavy tank, which we do. Um, giving us 4,000 damage and 3 kills and then there's this enemy light tank which again I wanted to be careful of 
We're going to see if we can put a shot into this tank as it caresses this ridge. Wait for our shot, wait for the right moment, and we do put that shot in, which now puts the enemy light tank on a one shot to us. And we should actually be able to get the finishing here, uh, shot here, which we do, picking up the fourth kill of the game. Putting us on to just about 4,500 damage, 5,000 combined. Get a nice shot into enemy T29, which puts the T29 onto one shot. You can see how quickly we reload for this. You know, the DPM on this tank is fantastic. Pick up the kill on the T29, giving us five kills and 5,000 damage. With four enemy tanks remaining, there's this IS-3. I tried to go for a cheeky capula, you know, shot there. I didn't really think it was going to pen, but the IS-3 is hold down to us. So that's a little bit more of a, a problem because we just we can't really pen him like this. If he pokes high enough, we should get out to get a shot in. Didn't really want to eat the shot unnecessary, even though we, we probably won this game. I'm thinking about just closing in the distance here because this game looks like it's won. I want to try and get as much out of this as I can. Because if I can kill the IS-3, then I can actually pick up the sixth kill and get myself a top gun. And, you know, if you're lucky, we might even be able to get a Devastator if we can get around there quick enough. But we're going to have to be fast because this game is all but over at this point. So we come round expecting to find the IS-3. Uh, the IS-3 is actually trying to leave and that's good for us because now we've got a kill on the IS-3. We're probably about going to eat a single shot of damage. We reload before we can even turn around and pick up our 6 kill. Putting us on to about 6,000 damage with 500 assistance. One tank remaining. Can we squeeze it in for the Devastator medal? Yes, we can. And that brings us an end to the video in the Charioteer. So let's see how we got on there. And then we'll say our goodbyes. We picked up 7 kills. 6,200 damage. Uh, 2,300 odd base XP. Getting the Ace Tanker as well. And that is it for the video. So thank you so much for your amazing support. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And as always, happy tanking. Enemy in sight.